Hi, welcome to my Prime Moon Child. My name is Kaylee. This is a deck unboxing and initial review of fashion oracles. Um, I do have our oracles and also the feminist oracles, which also I think the video is up for right now. Um, but let's have a look. Let's see what they what we have. Let's see what's inside it. So, um, obviously we have the box. It has all this foiling on it, silver foiling. All these little dots are foiling and we have the gorgeous Audrey Hepburn front and centre. Um, there you go, 50 cards, change your life with fashion, consult the oracles today, fashion oracles. So it's the same on the top and bottom and then the same on each side with this varsity style font. Um, obviously it has the same details on the back with Coco Chanel and Alexander McQueen there as well. Lawrence King Publishing. I didn't realise this has been out since 2018. Wow, that's amazing. So two part box. It has like a linen print texture to the box, if that matters to you. Obviously we have the inside um, red part. I will do the booklet in a minute, but I always love that they are stitched seams on the back of it. And I love that that print has come onto the inside as well. It feels like a Dalmatian print, very Cruella de Vil, <laughs> like micro Dalmatian print. I really like that. Okay, I like that they've also got um, paper holders for the deck rather than plastic casing. It is a little bit bent coming out the box, so um, we'll see. But these are quite thin cards, so they don't always um, yeah, they don't always stand up to being bent or whatever. But they are beautiful artwork, so we'll get to that in a minute. So we have um, Mark Jacobs, Alexander McQueen. Anna Wintour, Audrey Hepburn, Bill Cunningham, Cecil Beaton, Charles Frederick Worth, Christian Dior, Christian Lacroix, Christian Louboutin, oh, beautiful shoes, Cindy Crawford, Coco Chanel, David Bailey, Diana Vreeland, Danielle, uh, sorry, Diane von Furstenberg, Elsa Schiaparelli, Estee Lauder, G Gianni Versace, Grace Coddington, Grace Jones. I think that might be the first person of colour in this deck so far. That's a bit sad. Uh, Grace Kelly. Isabella Blow, Jackie O, Jacqueline Kennedy, Jean-Paul Gaultier. I love him for reasons other than fashion. I don't know if anyone's ever seen Euro Trash, but if you haven't, you really need to see it. It's amazing. John Galliano, Karl Lagerfeld, Carly Kloss, Kate Moss, Linda Evangelista, Madeleine Viennette, Milano, um, Manolo Blahnik, Irving Penn, Mary Quant, Mutia Prada. There's a film, Lady Gaga is playing her in a film, upcoming film. Uh, Naomi Campbell, Oliver Roost, Roosting, Olivier Roosting, Paul Poiret, uh, Philip Tracy, Tracy, uh, Ralph Lauren, Ray Kawakubo, Richard Avedon, Sam McKnight, Stephen Jones, Susie Menkes, oh, Tom Ford, Twiggy, I love Twiggy, Victoria Beckham, I love that there's still Spice Girls in the background. She kind of turned her back on them. Vidal Sassoon, Vivian Westwood, my favourite designer ever, and Yves Saint Laurent. I'm a bit sad that there's only like two, three, four people of anything that isn't white. Um, it's a little bit um, non-representative, to be honest, in, in my... There are so many amazing people of colour that are designers and they've gone for the mainstream... Anyway, we have the red and white um, back 
of the cards that that design that's it's like the dalmatian print but in red and white instead of uh white and black um i'm gonna try and riffle them in order to try and get them to straighten up because that's really annoying me that they've come out bent to begin with they will riffle shuffle i'm really hoping they'll bend back sorry that didn't they just sometimes that happens there you go they are starting to straighten back up, but um, you can feel that they're kind of set that way. But there is a slight bend to them still. But I'm sure with like keep riffling them that way, they they'll probably uh, open up. Um, the cards are really quite thin. Um, for the price, I get it. You know what were they? They were under twenty pounds, so um, you shouldn't really expect amazing quality for under twenty pounds, but. Um, they are matte. I know that has that flash of light there, but that they are matte cards um, and normal traditional um, Oracle deck size cards as well. They shuffle really well. Um, they always do, to be honest. It's it's like playing card um, card basically. You know how they can bend quite easily, or um, yeah, they're not they're not high quality. They're okay quality at best um obviously we've got the book that comes with it so each of them has attitude style and inspiration um for each one and then we have meet the oracles and we have um each of the designers or fashion icons um image from the card and then obviously a bit about each of them um and that goes for they have half a page each going through a bit about their history they were written by Camilla Morton and the illustrated by Anna Hig Higgy I love the I love that but I think it really does highlight the lack of not only people of color within fashion but also there's a lack of people of color that have been selected to represent a fashion icon in a fashion oracles deck i know it was like three years ago but even three years ago we were looking at representation and it's not a new thing that there's a lack of representation of people of color um and anything that isn't white basically um i'm a little bit disappointed actually that there is a real lack of that in this deck um so i get that there are icons and a lot of these are from like the 60s and and, and the 80s even, and even the 90s, but it's so telling that the only icon from the 90s as a person of colour is Naomi Campbell, um, which was very much raised within, um, I think it was Drag Race UK, when they did, um, like, your idol, idols or somebody famous, and all they could think of that was a black um, gay icon was Naomi Campbell and that's all they had that they could use as a reference and two of them two of them used Naomi Campbell because that was the case so I think very much it, it speaks volumes about the fashion world in general that was still not there with the representation but equally the fact that this is a deck that somebody selected and drawn artwork and created this deck which takes a thought process they haven't included more people a more diverse range of people um within the fashion industry as icons if they're not full-blown icons then this was a really good opportunity for people to educate that there are other people that are iconic that may not be as well known as gucci or prada i mean that's just kind of almost lazy to a sense lazy um researching like you've just picked the biggest names Lebutan, blanix i'm surprised jimmy Choo's not in there to be honest but um yeah there are so many designers that are out there that are so much there's just you could have educated people with this deck um but there you go um so yeah overall i like the deck i love the fact i mean audrey hepburn is one of and vivian westwood are like icons I, for a reason they are incredible they broke boundaries so from that point of view, yes, absolutely. But I just feel like it was lazy selections. Like you could have used, yes, some icons, the, the well-known ones, because people are going to go into it looking for Audrey Hepburn and looking for Twiggy. And, and I just feel like you could have 
researched a bit more and pulled in a couple of lesser known ones in order to educate people and show representation. It's kind of lazy curating in that sense of icons and fashion people to do that. But that's just my point of view. Um, anyway, I hope this video has been helpful to you. Um, thank you so much for watching. I will see you again soon. Bye for now.